Hey guys, welcome back to the Shipmate YouTube channel. This week we're talking about P.O. boxes, post office boxes, how you get one, and what are they? P.O. box stands for post office box. These are the little boxes that you see in the post office. They come in various sizes and are lockable and you can reserve them either online or in post office. These boxes have a lot of uses, especially in areas where there's high theft or if you wanna consolidate your mail all into one centralized safe location. These boxes, like I said, come in different sizes so they can accommodate different amounts of mail, different sizes of mail. And if you get a package, you can go to the counter and uh, retrieve that package. So if you want all your mail delivered to one centralized location, a post office box might be a good solution for you. Post office boxes are not only in the United States, but in many countries, especially in the developing world, as in some regions of the world, it is safer to go to the post office to retrieve your mail or valuables than it is to have them delivered to your own address. And in some cases, in rural parts of the world, it might not even be possible to receive mail to your own address. So post office boxes play an important role in the reception of mail, not just in the United States, but abroad. Post office boxes are great because like I said, they reduce theft and they can centralize your mail. Up until a few years ago, it was impossible to send mail to a post office box from one of the other carriers. But as of 2012, there is a way that you can merge your address with a post office box number in order to make sure that you can receive uh, mail from other carriers such as UPS or FedEx or DHL. So this makes the post office box a much more usable option, especially if you're looking for that benefit of consolidating your mail all into one place. Post office boxes are really safe. They're lockable, sometimes they have a key, sometimes they have a combination, and you can get that from the post office that you are uh, reserving your box at. And this safety and security allows you to remain private, right? Nobody knows whose box is whose, and this is confidential information that's kept with the postal service. So like I said, there's a whole bunch of benefits to having these kind of boxes. Um, these boxes vary in price. So depending on where you live, uh, you could pay more or less for a post office box um, because these fluctuate slightly depending on the municipality or the city you live in because obviously having a box in a in-demand urban area is going to command a higher price than maybe in a rural area where there's not a lot of theft, where there's not as much of a need for being able to walk in after work and collect all your documents on the way home. So, like I said, this allows for a lot of benefits, especially for urban dwellers. So guys, if you're looking to reserve your own postal box, you can now do that online, or you can do that in your local post office. They will set you up with a box, maybe you'll have a choice of a size, um, you know, based on the location, you might have 24 hour access or just regular lobby access. So it's important to ask those questions when you're deciding to get a box and looking into that as an option. For a lot of people, a post office box is a great solution to fix a lot of their problems. And there's a reason why these things are so popular. So guys, thank you so much for watching. We hope you learned something about P.O. Boxes. Give us a like, give us a share, give us a subscribe. We're on the way to 5,000 and we need your help to get there. Maybe you could be the one to get us over the halfway point. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next week.